Welcome back to Minecraft Vanilla Survival. Uh, it is miraculously daytime. Uh, I have kind of given up on my trees downstairs. They did not grow. Uh, I planted some out here, and within like five minutes, they grew up. So I think it's just they've changed it uh, for underground. You can't grow trees underground. I did a little bit of walkabout, got some more flowers. Um, nothing really to say about here. There's a nice cave uh, just over yonder um, that I'd love to explore sometime. But for today... I'm going to show you how to make another portal without a diamond pick because I don't have a diamond pick. I know for a fact I don't have a diamond pick. So I am going to uh, make a uh, sorry a nether portal using nothing but buckets and ingenuity. So uh, this uh, that's my main goal today is to get that nether portal up and running. Uh, I also did a little bit of landscaping out here in preparation for animal pens, so uh, once I get enough wood stacked up, uh, I will be fencing all this off. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is have a main um, walkway. I'll make some coarse dirt or something. Uh, make it out this way, and then put pens on either side where I can put uh, different colored sheep. It's a great way to get colored sheep. Wow, that grew up fast. Like, you, we were just over there. You know that tree wasn't there. All right. So let's get started on our portal. Uh, I should have grabbed some water, but I can get some water up here. Water. Let's do this. Uh, I ain't classy. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, let's see. Actually, what I'll do. I want to keep myself from walking into it because that is always awkward. But I can kind of make a little lip for it. Uh, like, no, not like that. Not like that, I can't. <sighs> okay, come on. Then maybe here. Yes, okay, so now I can't. Yeah, okay. So that should be good. Uh, got some water. That is part one. I will grab a bunch of cobblestone. I got some picks. So let's go build us an ender portal. And we remember. We have some lava downstairs. See, no trees. Like, literally let it run overnight. Uh, and um, it was like, nope. No trees for you. I really should get some more buckets. I have enough iron to burn, so I'm not really stressing about my iron. But, alright. Grab some lava. Let's see how deep this is. One deep. Fabulous. Alright. I'm going to go upstairs again. And get started. Actually, I am going to go make some more buckets, because, uh, yeah, buckets. If I can get five of them, I can do half, and then I'll do the other half, so. Do, 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 do. I need to make steps to make this a little easier. But for right now, I'm just getting amazing calf worked out. Look at this. My calves are so toned. All right. More buckets, and I should have plenty of iron. Oh yeah, I have enough for three more buckets here. And I'll go ahead and make a fifth just for fun, because I only need one bucket of water, but I do need several buckets for lava. Four, four, four. All right, let's go pick up some lava. All right, I did find a skeleton in my hallway this morning, which was fun. Um, that was a way to wake up. Um, just came downstairs and, hey, not here, uh, up there in the main entrance, which is really weird. So I put some more torches up. I think that's all I needed to do. All right, some more lava. Okay, here, here, here. Oh, this might just be enough lava. Because I don't, I think there's a source block there. Let's see. I don't want Because I think this ends here. Oh, it's always sketchy working around lava. Oh, I hope there's enough lava here to make another portal. But we do know there's lava elsewhere, so I'm not terribly stressed. Oh, good. There's some more. And there's some more back here. Okay. Okay. That's a load off my mind. Okay. That should be enough because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. I only need five. So we're good because we need 10 blocks of obsidian as uh, for this nether portal. Standard. Do, 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 do. And I've got. Okay. I'm just making sure I picked up those buckets and they didn't like fly into lava for some reason. 
Do 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 stairs. I just need to go build a whole bunch of cobblestone stairs and lay them down. Every time I see that tree, it freaks me out because I think it's a creeper. Had a couple creeper incidents. I didn't blow up. Uh, I managed to kill them, so I do have a little bit of um, that beautiful, beautiful gunpowder. All right, so this is going to be the framework. Um, this is going to be where it is. So we need to put two blocks of obsidian here. Easiest way: put lava down. Put lava not there. Put lava down there, and then more, a little more than that. Okay. Pick up your water as soon as you put it down, and now I've got the base for my nether portal. So now I've got to build up on this side. So I'm putting one here. Uh, let's get all my lava into my hot bars so I can do this quicker. All right, we're only going to be able to do up to this, but that's okay. Uh, lava here. Water. Oops. Oh, I can't get there. I might have to dig a little of the ceiling out actually. Lava here. Water. Knock my torch out. Brilliant. It, literally not brilliant, because uh, if it was brilliant, I'd be able to see. Uh, and this, I think, I'm going to do this the quick and dirty way. There we go. Ha! Ah, there we go. So now, if I etch away at all this cobblestone, you'll see I have a nice side of my portal. So now all I have to do is get... Hmm, this is going to be tricky. All right, yeah. Let me go grab the more, rest of my lava. That way I can uh, finish this up with no fuss. And then I need to go make a flint and steel. Just realized, did not make flint and steel. Do, 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 do. Going downstairs is so much easier than going up. But like I said, I will make some, off camera, I'll make some cobblestone stairs and just fill that in. Because ain't nobody got time to jump. <clears throat> All right, Get down here without falling in the lava and losing all my buckets. One. Oh, there's more underneath of it. Cool. Two, three, four, five. All right. Almost depleted that, but that's all I needed it for was to make this another portal. As long as I had ten, we good to go. All right. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Three hours later, finally get out of this hole. But I'm glad I found that little cavern. That's uh, that's gonna be very rich in in resources so once I get down there to explore it all right do, 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 do. all right now we do the same thing we did on this side over here a little bit of a block and then pick that up a little bit of a block and pick that up and here oh haha -ha. All right, I'm gonna do this the really risky way. This time I'm even standing on the ground, which was even riskier. At least before I was standing on this block here, and it wouldn't have hit me. Now this is gonna be the fun one. All right, so I am hoping lava physics has not changed in the last couple months because this is gonna be very messy if it has. Come on, straight down. Yes, yes, nope. Nope, that is not what I wanted you to do. Oh, snap. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, it's not okay. Okay, that was probably not my finest moment. Alright, let's see. Um, let's pick up this lava. Okay, pick that up. Put some lava down, or water down. Nope, that actually destroyed my water. Because I did not... Oh, this is not good. Okay, so I've taken all the lava out. I just gotta get more water. So it is tricky. It can be tricky. I wonder if it needs water down here. Hmm. Go back upstairs and grab some more, another bucket of water. Alright, back here. I just, I'm gonna have to stop being lazy and uh, just do this the right way. Which means I have to carve out some of the ceiling so I can get above it. 
Because then what you do is you put it here to give it a base. Knock out all the stone. And then we're going to have to dig up. Please don't be sand above me. Please don't be sand above me. A little bit more. Because I need to put... Here we go. Let's do this. Then we can do this. 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 Oh, it's dark, but it won't be for long. Because I'm going to put some lava down. Here. Here. And then... There we go. Fixed it. Alright, nether portal is up. And I did not use a diamond pickaxe. That is my quick and dirty way to avoid having to go get just tons of diamonds in order to build your nether portal. So, nether portal is made. And if you haven't made another portal before, it is always going to be three high and two across. You do not need obsidian in the corners. So you can save yourself some obsidian. You just need ten. Um... So, now I just need to go find myself a uh, flint and steel, and bring it back down here, spark this up, and let's go to the nether. I probably need to be a little better prepared. Uh, I'll grab some more food, uh, I've got a good sword. Let's see, what else What else will I need? I've got some stone, that's good. I don't need all that. I don't need my buckets. I do not need my buckets. I'll put the water bucket back too. Got plenty of picks. Got some torches. Not that I'll need a whole lot, but sometimes I will. Got some bread. Got some potatoes. Don't need water. Because it's not going to work anyway. I think it's about all I'll need. I don't want to take a whole lot because I don't want to lose it. Because the nether is a dangerous place. You know what I didn't do? I didn't make a flipping flint and steel. Alright, piece of iron and a piece of flint. Take him over here to you old crafting bench, and let's go here. Boom. Alright, that crafting thing makes it pretty quick to craft stuff, I will say. Um, it is it is convenient. Kind of takes away your, your pride of being, like, true Minecrafter, you know, OG. But, uh, alright, so to so light up your nether portal, you just use a flint and steel on that. And we go through, and we pray. That nothing's going to kill us as soon as we walk out of this portal. Come on. Okay, wait for it to render and get out of the portal. Okay. Alright, so this is the nether. It's uncomfortable. Uh, I do see some nether quartz, which I want, because you use nether quartz in some things. And it's pretty as a decorative block, too. I really like it as a... Uh, as a decoration block, like, put it down, um, to get, like, put four of them together, I think, and it makes a quartz block. Yes. And that will, um, it's, it's nice. It looks nice. Uh, there's my glowstone. Uh, problem is, it's, uh, usually above lava or a giant drop. So, what I do is I bring myself a bunch of cobblestone. And I build tons of platforms. You will just look at the lattice work of platforms in my nethers every time. Almost there. And then what I'll do is build a little platform underneath to catch all my glowstone. I mean, I could go down there and get it, but that's a long, long drop. So one of the things you haven't seen yet in the nether in this playthrough... Oh, there's a baddie. That's a zombie pigman. They are not naturally aggro, which is nice. But if you attack one... They all get upset, and they all come after you. It's bad news, because, you know, they, they just wreck you. And they will wander themselves through your nether portal sometimes, which is just super. Uh, that's, again, why I'm pl I like putting it all the way there at the end of that tunnel, so that if anybody does come through, uh, they can't get to my base proper. I may have to fight them off in that, uh, in that room, but that's about all. All right, pull it up. All right, now... Grab my pickaxe and break some of this glowstone. So this glowstone is really cool. It's used in some uh, crafting recipes for um, lights, of course, and for potions, which we will get into before we go uh, into the end, because we will need potions uh, in the end just to stay alive. Um, I don't. I think these make a more a better potion. Redstone makes them last longer, or vice versa. I'm really not entirely sure. There they go, right off the edge. All my platforming for nothing, but I did get some here. Okay. 
Do -do -do. Look at all that glowstone. I got a stack already. That little little thing gave me a stack and then some. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother taking down my cobble. Because, you know, it's the nether. Ow! Oh, magma cube. These are actually kind of good because I can use the charges, the fire charge. Oh, lord. Okay, you're dead. Oh, but you turn into two more. Fabulous. Okay, and you. And you. Come on. There we go. Didn't drop any magma charges, so that's unfortunate. Uh, let's go up here. You have to kind of... Ooh, a ghast. Oh, those are not cool. Okay, so that's a ghast. He will do this. He'll fire um, these fireballs at you. And you can hit them back with... Ow, the timing is right. That was not the right timing. I'm going to go ahead and get my baked potato back in my hot bar. Because... <laughs> find a corner to snack in. All right, get my sword back out. Let's get, and then the thing is, if I kill this ghast right now, it will literally just drop its ghast here and- <gasps> Oh, for Pete's sake, I friendly fire! Oh, this is- this is not good. Um, he ain't happy with me. He is not happy one little bit. Um, I'm headed back. Oh, and of course I'm on the wrong side. Are you kidding? Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill him. Die. Please die. Please die and don't call your friends. Thank you. Oh, he dropped a gold nugget. That's useful. Um, not even going to risk that. That's just going to fall straight in the lava. So we're going to ignore that. Okay, so far, they don't seem to be angry at me. i got to walk past the... Oh, this is... Okay, let's see. Are you going to attack me? No? Oh, thank goodness. Hi! ugly. Oh, what is wrong with your face? So I think these can appear in the overworld if a pig gets hit by lightning or if a zombie gets hit by lightning. Uh, I think if a zombie hit, or if, someone, if a villager gets hit by lightning, they become a witch, I believe. And if a pig gets hit by lightning, they become a zombie pigman. Because Minecraft evolutionary science is a little, um, a little weird. So, since I've got this glowstone here and the pigmen aren't after me, that was very unfortunate, though, accidentally smacking the pigmen <laughs> with the charge from the gas. That was, that was not my best day. Um, because they don't let up, either. Like, once you die, they'll eventually leave you alone. Like, if you come back, they won't still be mad at you. So, apparently, there is a, okay, you died, so I guess you've learned your lesson kind of aspect to them. But, whew. Okay. Let's keep on getting that glowstone. I, I just want a ton of it, because I want to light up my base with it instead of torches. Just because I can. Speaking of, I got some Diet Coke. Hold on. Alright, let's get back up to my nether portal. Oh, soul sand. Uh, sometime here in the f near future, I do want to find a um, nether fortress. That's going to be cool, because that's where you can get nether wart, and you can start cultivating that, so you can have that for potions. Because you do need nether wart for all the potions. Uh, it makes the awkward potion, which is the first level to making any potion. And uh, so I will want to get some of that. I see... What is that? That's oh, just lava. I thought it was a mushroom. You can also get tons of mushrooms down here. Um, I think they grow naturally. Hello? Computer? Computer. There you go. Oh, that gas. I'm going back topside. This is this is crazy. But I did get some stuff. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I do want to grab some of that quartz. I know I'm going to regret this, but... Oh, the neat thing about netherrack is if you spark it with a... Oh, snap. You son of a... Gas. Oh, ow. This was such a bad plan. Fire again. Fire again, jerk. See, the nice thing is it takes a while for this, his projectiles to get to you, so it's not like you're at high risk of getting actually hit. It's just darned inconvenient to be, you know, standing there on the edge of a platform you've built to get glowstone and uh, get thrown off by this ghast's spit balls. I don't know what you want to call them. Okay. I got that one. Anything down there? No. Okay. do 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 do, -do. Oh, that's different. That's new. What is this? Not this, obviously. I know what this is, but... The computer is just having a time of it. 
Come on, computer. Get your act together. Just in Minecraft. It's not that big. <laughs> I'm not playing, like, Imperion with... I mean, Imperion has its it has its ups and downs. Like, sometimes when you go from planet to planet, it decides it doesn't want to play along, and it ends up putting you random places. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these blocks will hurt me if I stand on them. And there's probably lava on the other side, so this is not the best way to go about collecting these. But, you know, throw caution to the wind. This is Minecraft. We take it to the limit. Alright, I think, I think I'll be happy with that haul for right now. Let's head back up to my portal. Like a little mountain goat, just jumping up this mountain. Whee! Oh, hello, hello, uncomfortable situation. Uh, sorry about your cousin. But, uh, he kind of got in the way of gas ball. That was not my fault. Do, 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 do. So, I have a selection of new lighting implements, and, uh, some other goodies. So let's go back to where things make sense. <clears throat> so the other thing about nether portals is that if I put one down here and I went to the nether and I went maybe a hundred blocks and I put another nether portal down, it would make a corresponding nether portal in my world. So on the other way, you can go to a distant location, set up a secondary base and link them with nether portals by building tunnels or platforms between your nether portal that spawned initially, like the one I've got downstairs, and uh, the one that oh my gosh, so much cluster, and the one that's generated by your secondary base. So you can make it so you can travel quickly and relatively safely if you block it all in uh, from one base to the other. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's it's neat. Uh, let's see, magma block. I don't know what I can do with that. But, uh, I think that was a pretty decent haul from the nether for the first time foraying in there. Um, did pretty good, didn't die. Uh, got attacked quite a bit, but didn't die. That's always nice. Uh, just farming my crops. Like I said, I left it on all night, so I had all the crops were growing when I got back. So I do have quite a bit of foodstuffs, which is convenient. Um, I made some beetroot stew, because that's, like I said, very, very healthful. Very filling. Um, get my seeds out. And plant them all up. This is the tedious part. Is like if, like I said, there's a there's some. I've been used to playing a game where when you har when you try to harvest your crops, it ends up replanting them automatically, which is nice. You don't have to worry about it, but here you have to. Farm Brown, on the case. All right, put all this stuff away. I have enough for another beetroot stew. All right, I'm just kind of making them as I go. Once I get four, I'll stop. But that's only because I don't want to have to make more bowls. All right, I have three beetroot stew ready to go. Let's go up and check on the trees upstairs. I do need to make another axe here soon, but not right now. Uh, I'll grab the iron so I can go get some more wood first, and then build the sticks for it. Oh, is it daytime? Good, 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 good. Oh, plenty of trees. All right, let's go choppy chop, choppy chop. Do -do -do. Get in that wood. So I want a lot of this wood so I can make the fencing. Um, that's really why I put down this little tree farm. Because uh, I want to make that fencing for my farm, my animal pens, here shortly. Uh, I probably won't do that on camera. Uh, I'll show you the recipe for fences because, it, like I said, you have to use the same exact kind of wood or it doesn't work. Uh, it used to be you could use any wood and it would just make a fence. Now you have spruce fences and acacia fences and birch fences and da 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 da. So you have to kind of make sure you have all the same kind of um, wood. But I was thinking of making it a little bit more uh, varied when I make my my um, fences. I'll put uh, birch, or not birch, uh, spruce then oak, then spruce then oak, just to give it a little bit more contrast. Oh, this is a tall spruce tree. I have very rarely seen a tall spruce, a spruce tree this tall. There we go. Usually they're stumpy. Same with birch. The only ones that give me what the the, the monster trees, the ones that go on forever, uh, are the oak trees. Everything else pretty much stays below a, you know, a certain height. Oh, that cave over there looks so cool. But I have to wait for my, my tree saplings to fall so I can replant my trees. Come on. Give me them saplings. Oh, I feel like I just had a deja vu moment to Skyblock. Because <laughs> Skyblock, it's all about... Oh, and it's getting dark. Fabulous. Alright, I think that's a good time to end, because it is getting dark. 
And I need to get these saplings. Oh, for Pete's sake, come on. Come on, trees. Give me your sapling. I see one floating up there. Okay, there's one. I just want to get these planted before it gets dark. Before all the bad guys come out. It's cool in the morning to come out because you see, like, like these little balls of flame, like, traveling along this, um, the ridge. Because all the skeletons and... I saw a spider jockey today. That was kind of cool. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Where it's a skeleton riding a spider. Because realism in Minecraft. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Alright, I think that's all the saplings I'm going to get. Outside of maybe a spruce sapling? If this tree will cooperate? Oh, I can't see. It's getting so dark. I know you can't see on YouTube. YouTube's really bad about darkness. And it's just like, ha! You wanted some... I'm not going to get another spruce sapling. I'm just going to go inside. Um, I need to fill in this. Hold on, do I have any stone on me? No, I used it all in the nether. Alright, back inside. Back inside. Back inside. Now, what I will do eventually is build up a little border... Uh, a wall around the outside of my my base proper and I was thinking I could use where to go netherrack and where's my flint and steel did I put it away I did yes okay um, get some stone and you can make a little frame for your netherrack or if you want to do it really cool uh, this and then uh, here. Oh, haha. No, that's not the recipe for that. That's the recipe. Do, do, do. And it only makes two. Of course it does. Um, but imagine if I if I was doing this on two other sides. You kind of put a framework around it so you can't really see the netherrack and then light it. And then you've got these burning pylons. And you can make it fancy. You can build up your stone around it. But I like this as like a torch for the corners, so I can always see where my base is. And then it's fun to just twiddle the... Okay, I'm stop. But yeah, that's my plan for uh, once I get... Figure out exactly how much space I'm going to need on this base. Uh, I'm going to make... And those actually burn in the rain, <laughs> which is nice. Um, so netherrack is kind of useful to build with in that regard, only because you can light it on fire. It's also nice if you want to make like a fire trap pit around your base. Just go down in mine, just a ridiculous amount of netherrack, bring it up, and put it in a trench around your wall, light it all on fire, and then whenever anything comes up to try to raid your base, it will fall into the pit and burn, which is highly satisfying to watch from atop your watchtower in the middle of your base. That I'll just say that now. I do not like this, not one bit. I thought I would. I was wrong. Uh, I'll use the stone, because it'll match the floor. Eh, I'll have to figure out some other way to get my water situation fixed. But with that being said, I'm going to go to sleep, and we will see you tomorrow.